Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Fazia Shah. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. You probably are a little bit confused as to what does Apple Vision Pro have to do with mental health. So today's topic is going to be about self-care and self-worth. But self-care cannot happen if you haven't discovered your self-worth. So in order for someone to practice self-care, even if it's for a moment, it is important that the discovery of one's self-worth has taken place. And if you haven't done that, then there will not be any consistency with the self-care because you will do self-care one day, maybe two days, and then you just fall off the track. And partly that's because when we plan a self-care uh, plan, uh, I should say, that is because we are thinking and planning through the egoic mind. And that cannot be consistent because ego is not consistent. So the discovery of self-worth is important for you to make self-care paramount. So let's get started. It is extremely important for us to pay attention to our breathing so we can be in the present moment. Take pauses between your sentences, between your words, so you can be totally present to listen to what you're saying. Because if you want someone else to listen to you, Shouldn't you be listening to yourself first? Because you want to know what you're saying. You want to hear the words that you're speaking. So when people spend a lot of time on watching videos or uh, spending time in front of a TV or, uh, you know, not being in reality, but in a make-believe world, that is an escape and it's not self-care. It is so important that one includes socialization, increase of social activities, being around friends, being around family is very important. Include exercise, walking in the woods or walking and just being aware of your surroundings because your surroundings is for you to know that you are in the present moment, that you're experiencing life as moment by moment. So being very aware of your surrounding is one way to know that you're here experiencing life in a state of consciousness and awareness. But when we are spending too much time on things that take us away from self-discovery, self-awareness, then we are actually living through the egoic mind. And a lot of times I've heard, you know, I just come home from work and I turn my TV on and that's what I'm watching until I just fall asleep. Or, um, you know, I play a lot of video games or I watch videos, um, actually watching videos on different technology. And I guess Apple ProVision is one of the technologies uh, that people are using these days. It's okay to do that, but it cannot be all that you do because then you're not living in the world of reality because you're living in the future or you're living in the past or your focus is on something else and not on, on, on your own self. 
So self-care, self-worth. Self-worth has to be discovered first, and then we can go into planning or actually setting up a plan that would include self-care. And each one of us have a different idea of self-care. And what worked when you were 16 is not going to work when you are 40 or 50 or 60 or even 70. So you have to kind of keep looking at the self-care plan and see what fits today in this moment. What is it that you want to do in this moment? Because you, it's, life happens moment, one breath, one moment. And I don't mean to be repeating myself, but I really want to make my point that nothing happens there and nothing happens there. What happens, happens right here in this moment. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I'm wishing you the best.